I guess I'm just gonna start taking stuff apart. Oh man, how am I gonna do all this? Got the car up and I am ready to do some work on this thing. Typically, you would not want your ramps like this, but I have a reason for it. Because I'm going to be sliding in and out of here quite a bit, messing with that transmission. And I'm not in the garage, I'm not near my toolbox, so it's gonna be a million trips back and forth, back and forth. I just flipped them around to give myself some working room. Now, safest way to do it? Maybe not. Is it okay? Probably. Fingers crossed that nothing happens and uh, hopefully I'm still around to finish this video. I had a very uh, generous offer to bring my car over to someone's air conditioned shop with a lift, with all kinds of the right tools. As much as I would love that, and I would feel horrible about destroying someone's Saturday or Sunday doing this crap. I have to do it. They don't. So why would I destroy somebody's weekend? You know, having them help me with this junk. Seems like a waste, but a generous offer nonetheless. I'm gonna take a stab and see how much I can actually do on my own without inconveniencing anyone else. If it goes well, great. Uh, if I get in a situation where it does not go well, then I will uh, reconsider that offer. So I need the drive shaft out of the transmission. Not a big deal. But I gotta pull the drive shaft apart over there. I've got this emergency brake thing in the way. I've got exhaust in the way. I've got this shield thing in the way before I can even get down here to this section and this is where I need to be. I could get all the bolts for the drive shaft without pulling the exhaust down but I was wrong and I've got the exhaust just hanging so not too bad except it's really hard to maneuver around under here uh, I got one more to get loose on the drive shaft and then I should be able to pull that out and then I can tack this or I don't know what I'm gonna do I guess I'm just gonna leave it hanging here all right so exhaust is down the drive shaft is out shifter top pieces are off couldn't get the shifter actually out now i need to make a run to the store to get tools i always have to buy a tool whenever i'm doing a project because it just ends up that way i need an extension that is about two feet long the top bolts on this transmission I can feel them with my hands. I can get a socket on there. The problem is you cannot get ratchet of any kind up there and get enough leverage to get the bolts to come loose. I tried putting all my extensions together. However, it's just a, a wobbly mess. So I need a two foot extension. Second day, hopefully I'm gonna get this transmission dropped. Today, I was able to get the top bolts out from the transmission to the bell housing it is uh, a bit tricky i watched some videos ahead of time and everybody said that it was i don't know just like the hardest thing in the world it's not really go get one of these if you're doing a t56 transmission you're taking it out whatever get a 24 inch extension this will save your life once i had this easy peasy I don't know about the transmission tunnels and like the uh, F-body cars and stuff, but this one gave me enough room to get my hand up and around and kind of feel where the bolts are. Really wasn't that bad. There's eight bolts that hold the transmission to the bell housing 
and from what I've read there's another 8 bolts holding the bell housing to the back of the engine. Once I get the transmission out that shouldn't be too difficult. I don't have a transmission jack but I guess we'll do it the redneck way. Life's a garden dig it you make it work for you. I'm assuming they put this transmission and engine in as one piece and it kind of came down and then kind of scooped up because there's no access to the front bolts to take the shifter off. So I had to drill two holes so I could get my tool down in there. And now I can get those bolts out so I can actually remove this shifter and then uh, drop this transmission down without this thing banging into everything. At least that's what I hope to do. I got it uh, <laughs> kind of cracked loose. So there is a dowel pin up here on this side and there's one over here on that side. Thankfully, this is not like seized up on those dowel pins and I'm able to split this and slowly kind of work it back. I've got two jacks supporting each end. I posted a picture of how I have the car set up. We talked about this earlier in the video, how I don't care for the ramps being like they are, but it allows me access underneath here. So I'm gonna make it work. Everybody's freaking out about the front stand. So I just wanna reassure everyone, I have a piece of fishing line wrapped around the bumper several times and then I have it safety to one of the pickets on my back fence so I'm good all right I got it broken free now it's just a matter of maneuvering both jacks and sliding this out and then just kind of go slow and bring it down. I might ask my wife for help. I don't know, we'll see. I might just be stubborn and do it myself. Transmission is loose. I just need to slowly move it back, lower it down a little at a time and we should be good to go. Another successful extraction. There's my T56. I have successfully removed it from the car. Pay no attention to the blood that's underneath the jack. Uh, that is my transmission fluid that I forgot to drain. I uh, guess I got a little ahead of myself and excited and, and I forgot. I got a big mess to clean up. This probably would have been a whole lot easier with a couple people. But I am stubborn and I needed to get it done like as soon as possible so I could figure out what's going on and what parts to order. This is why I'm laying on the ground in Texas on the hot concrete in the afternoon, sweating like a pig. The next order of business is gonna be pulling this clutch out and this bell housing and taking a good look at the flywheel and pressure plate, see what we got. Here's my clutch and I expected it to actually be worse. Now you can see like it's not really worn. This thing's pretty loose in here. You can see some wear you know, in a few different areas. Throw out bearing. I'm gonna have to assume that somebody did not adjust this correctly and I'm actually not gonna put this back but just you know, it's kind of burned here, a little bit right there. Same with the flywheel. So to be safe, I went ahead and just ordered a whole new clutch kit. It comes with everything, including a flywheel, which I think is a little odd. I've never had a clutch kit come with a flywheel, but a majority of the ones that I've looked up for this T56 and this GTO, it's just something that's included. So. Cool. I guess that saves me from having to take the other one and get it machined and all that good stuff. Here's my transmission. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. The uh, splines are okay. Everything turns. It's nice and tight the way it should be. No real concerns with the transmission itself. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything kind of goes together easier-ish. I know for certain 
I'm not going to be reinstalling this the same way that I took it out. Either I will take my buddy up on his generous offer to use his personal shop with AC and a lift and all that good stuff, or I could possibly use a lift at um, the place that I help out with, also indoors, no AC. I will definitely be reinstalling this indoors somewhere. This is a stock shifter for that T56. And I'm not exactly sure why this is, you know, it's not straight. If anybody knows why this is that way, please comment, please let me know. I don't understand why this wouldn't be turned so it's like in line straight, just like a, a T5 or pretty much any other manual transmission out there. Thanks so much for watching. Stay hungry, stay foolish.